This is an Arduino. It's a microcontroller mostly meant for learning electronics. But some of its application or use cases can be done with this IC. It's the NE555 or they call it timer IC. So this is more for a real world application because it uses less power and when you have a circuit that needs less modification, this makes more sense. So in this scenario, by the way, this IC can be used for multiple uh, scenarios or use cases or applications. For example, you can uh, generate the uh, pulse width modulation. You can generate, uh, you can use it as a timer. So there are so many multiple different use cases. And in this scenario, I'm just using a one second timer to blink an LED. The timer can be adjusted uh, based on the capacitor here. So the capacitor takes some time to charge and discharge, and that can be controlled based on the resistors that we have over here. So I will show you the circuit here in a minute when I'll take you to the PC because I did sketch this and I will give you the circuit uh, since it's a little bit more complicated to follow here on the breadboard. But also, let me show you the pins for the IC before we go to the PC. We have eight pins, and on this side, we have ground, trigger, output, and reset. On this other side, we have the VCC, the voltage, the discharge, the threshold, and the control voltage pin. So here is the IC over here, and that is the top. This is the bottom. These are the pins. And this is the LED that I am blinking using the uh, capacitor here and the resistor to control the timer. Now I'm going to take you to the PC real quick so I can explain the circuit and show you the diagram. So I went ahead and I did a quick sketch of the circuit. I have a quick image here showing you the pins to make it easy. Uh, first, let me explain how this works. We have a couple pins we need to worry about. The first one here is this pin number two. That is the trigger pin. This is over here. If the trigger pin senses a voltage that is less than one third of the supplied voltage over here, it will turn the output on. This is the output going to an LED here through a resistor. So, that's how it turns on. And it, when it turns off, we have this other pin that we have to worry about, which is the threshold. This is pin number six. If this uh, pin number six, the threshold, senses a voltage that is more than two thirds of the supplied voltage on the power over here, then it will turn it off. So, the last pin we have to worry about, which is the discharge, and that is pin number seven. If the output is off, so when the output pin is turned off, the discharge is connected to ground. So when we first turn this on, let me go ahead and start the simulation over here, and let me bring my image back. So you can see my LED is blinking. The way this works is when I start on the power supply, my capacitor over here is in a discharge state. So the trigger pin is definitely under one third of the voltage, which will turn the output on that will power my LED over here. But at the same time, because of the discharge pin is not connected, my capacitor is charging through these two resistors. The resistor number one, which is 100K, resistor number two, which is a 1K. This capacitor is being charged. Uh, by the way, it's a 10 uh, microfarad the, for the capacitor. I'm using, you can adjust these. You can adjust the timer based on adjusting the resistance and the capacitor value. And by the way, we can also use a potentiometer uh, to replace these resistors if we want to make like adjustment on the fly. So I might do that on a separate video. But for now, we have these two resistors uh, that are going to the positive voltage on the battery, which charges the capacitor. 
when the capacitor voltage and the charge reaches more than two thirds of the VCC, that's as you can see, the capacitor is also connected to the threshold pin, which will sense the voltage reached more than two thirds of the VCC, which will turn output off and the cycle repeats itself. So hopefully this makes sense. I have this picture here showing you the pins and this is the circuit. As you can see, I tried to label everything. So if you wanna take a screenshot and build this for yourself, uh, please feel free to do so. I'm going to stop the simulation. As you can see, the LED stop blinking. If I start the simulation again, the LED blinks one more time. So I labeled everything here. Uh, let me move. Uh, let me move that a little bit over here. Uh, for some reason, that doesn't want to. Or maybe because it's working. I think I can only move things when it's stopped. Yep, perfect. And then this is my LED. This is my capacitor. So hopefully this makes sense. And I will leave it here. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, this is it for this one. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.